Okay, I saw this video on uh, Twitter today of uh, Tucker Smith, a 72-foot, one-half-inch uh, glide shot put. So I thought I'd take a look and uh, see what we can find out about why uh, he's such a great thrower. All right, here he's coming down. He's got his elbow, you see, down low. He's got his left arm out. Uh, looks like his hand might be over the top of the right foot for balance. He's got his... Uh, Shoulders or his whole back is uh, pretty much horizontal. Now he's going to start bringing the uh, left foot up. So the knees are together. He's coming up on both toes for uh, balance for him. And uh, as he drops down, he's going to keep that right. He, the heel goes down a little bit, but the heel is still off the ground. And he's going to start kicking back. See how as he comes down, he's going to start driving back. He doesn't get real low with that uh, right thigh. Probably because, uh, I mean, he looks tall enough to, he looks as, I don't know, about the same size as the uh, diameter of the circle. So he looks pretty big. So he's got the kick here. Let's see where he lands. Yeah, he's landing well past the, uh, looks like the center of the circle. Look, And uh, he's landing with the uh, right toes. Left heel down, or right heel down, sorry. And then uh, right heel back up. So you see that sequence. He lands on the uh, right toe. Heel comes down. And then he comes back up immediately, so he can start driving that knee forward. Now, uh, when the right toes land, his left foot is still in the air. And then uh, he drives his uh, left foot into the toe board. And now you can see, start seeing his uh, right knee drive forward and down immediately. See that? You can see it's down because uh, he's uh, got his right foot vertical. He's trying to get that right hip, as you can see here, into the throw, past the left hip. Does a real good job at that. I want to see, take a look again as he uh, pushes off. See, he pushes off of his toes so it doesn't roll onto his heel. Then he sucks that uh, right foot right deep underneath him there. And then when he lands here, the right foot down, he's got the shot. Looks like it's uh, still beyond the outside of the uh, right foot. And the if you drop it down, looks like it's behind the heel. So he's got it uh, torqued back here pretty good. Um, his shoulders opened up not very much. He's still got this uh, left arm back for balance to counterbalance this uh, leg here. Now let's watch how quickly he brings that uh, left arm to the front and how wide he brings it. He's got the thumb down, two frames. He's already got it to the front, and he uh, it goes simultaneously to this position as the uh, left foot plants. See how they work together? Right there. Okay, now he's going to bring himself around. He's got a very high elbow. He's setting the angle of where he's going to throw it at. If you keep an eye on that, you should see him drive his uh, elbow through the shot, right through where his, uh, his elbow is here on the left arm. See that? Right along that path. Now here we want to see he's a uh, perfect angle right here. He's got his uh, a lean. It's not an arch, but uh, it's just a lean back here at the hips. And he's got his chest facing up to the direction he's going to throw. Everything's in line. His chest, his shoulder, his elbow, his, his shot and the hand are all going the same direction. Upward into the throw. Notice he doesn't uh, stop rotating his right shoulder all the way through around that left side block. See the left side's going to stop right here. And it's going to continue moving forward. Okay. Now watch as he drives that right knee down and right hip forward all the way through into the reverse. He's not going to spin around or anything. It's all linear. And there he's got his block, uh, or his uh, reverse, his foot blocked up against the toe board. He's not falling over. Let's see what else we can see here. See how he turned his foot, his left foot, just before it lands? His left foot and his knee go outward. Now he's in his saddle stance or horse stance, cowboy stance. So he's got both knees facing out. Very strong power position. This shot is held outside this knee here and outside the foot. And he's going to use that lower body to turn. And now he's going to extend the left leg right there for the final lift right into the throw. Watch how he continuously turns his head also. He doesn't stop and watch the shot, continuously rotates it around. 
Very, very nice throw. Let's watch it at full speed. All right, thanks very much.